Hello, my name is Paul Miners. Welcome back to another one of my pipe drive training videos. In this video, I want to discuss pipe drives pricing and talk you through the different options and help you decide which subscription you should get and ultimately ask the question, is it worth it? If you have any questions at the end of this video, please feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you would like help with setting up, optimizing pipe drive, automating more of your sales process and really getting the most out of this really awesome CRM, then check out the link in the description below to learn more about my pipe drive consulting options. Now what I'll start by saying is I really like the freedom and flexibility you get with pipe drives pricing. Compared to other CRMs which often lock you into paying for a lot of features, a lot of which you don't actually need or use maybe for your business, with pipe drive you can choose the subscription level and the add-ons that make sense for you so you can get just the features you need and you don't overpay for all this stuff that you're not using. Now when signing up for Pipedrive, the first decision to make is what subscription level you're going to sign up to for the base CRM. So you can choose between Essential, Advanced, Professional and Enterprise. Starting off with Essential, you'll see it's priced at $14.90 per user per month if you bill annually. If I switch this to monthly, you'll see there is an increase. It's $19.90 per user per month if you pay monthly. So you do save if you pay and commit for the year. And I think for $14.90, you actually get a great, simple, easy to use CRM for that price. You'll see here there are some limits or caps on the number of active deals, custom fields, and reports that you can have. But you know, if you're just getting started, why not just start with the essential and make use of those limits and then you can upgrade later if you need more custom fields, more reports and things. Now the essential plan really is good for simple lead and deal management if you just need to track your sales opportunities through your sales process. The essential plan is perfect for you. However, most of the clients that we work with tend to be on at least the advanced subscription. The advanced subscription starts at $24.90 per user per month if billed annually, and again, slightly more, $34.90 if you pay uh, monthly. You can see the limits have increased. You get more active deals, custom fields, and reports in your account. But really, the features that you, uh, or the benefits you get with the advanced subscription over the essential is the full email sync with templates and scheduling. This is the thing most people want with their CRM is the ability to send emails out of the system using templates. You also get group email capabilities so you can send emails to up to 100 people at once, which makes following up on your opportunities really quick and easy. And the other major thing you get with the advanced is the workflow builder. This allows you to create simple automations for updating your contacts and deals as you uh, create new deals and, uh, and update your deals and contacts in the CRM. On Pipedrive's pricing page, if you click see all features, you will find a full breakdown of the difference between essential, advanced, and professional. But those features there at the top, the email sync, group emailing, and workflow, those are kind of the major differences and the reason most people choose to upgrade. The advanced subscription is the subscription I recommend most people get started with. At $24.90 per user per month, billed annually, I think you get a really great, again, simple, easy to use, powerful CRM with the email sync and workflow automation features. There's a lot you can do with that. And so while you're just getting started, I recommend the advanced plan. I really think you will benefit from the email sync capabilities, being able to send emails out of Pipedrive using templates. I think that really gives the advanced plan the edge over that essential option. Once you've mastered the basics of Pipedrive and you're looking to do a little bit more, or if you just want to jump straight into unlocking the full power and capability of Pipedrive, then I would recommend having a look at the professional plan. The professional plan starts at $49.90 per user per month if billed annually, and it's $59.90 per user per month if billed monthly. Again, there are some higher limits on the number of active deals, custom fields, and reports that you can have. So if you are gonna be a high, high level user in terms of the volume of deals you're managing, or just the amount of custom fields and reports that you need, then again, professional is the way to go. With the professional plan, the extra features that you unlock include being able to create documents using the smart docs integration. So if you want to be able to send quotes, contracts, NDAs, things like that, and you want to get an e-signature, you, you will get that functionality with the professional plan. 
You also unlock more advanced reporting options, including the ability to do revenue projections and forecast and custom field reporting. This is actually one of the main reasons clients of ours often upgrade to professional is if they want to do that more advanced reporting. For example, if you have a custom field, let's say for a deal source, if you want to track where did this deal come from, did it come from Google, YouTube, LinkedIn, and if you want to be able to report on the revenue that you generated based on those different deal sources, that would be an example of a custom field report. And that we do need professional for. So I really like the, the advanced level reporting and the data that you get out of Pipedrive with that custom reporting option. So that would be something to consider is, you know, do we need that extra functionality from a reporting standpoint? If we look at the full feature comparison with the professional, you will notice uh, some extra features as well. Things like the contact timeline that lets you visualize when you have last contacted and spoke to different contacts. That is part of professional. Smart docs and e-signatures we've talked about. Down here with the workflow automation, you'll find on the professional plan, you can have more workflows um, and also you can have more delay steps in your workflows. So if you are doing kind of more advanced automations with nurture and, and sort of longer follow-up sequences, you again may find you need to upgrade to that professional tier. I do recommend professional for larger sales teams, mainly because you do get team management. So you can group users or salespeople into different teams. Uh, and so you can create goals for those different teams. And if you need to be able to control uh, who can see what and what permissions they have, again, for larger teams, you'll, you will probably benefit from the extra user permission sets and visibility group options as well. And finally, there is the enterprise option, which is $99 per user per month billed annually, or it goes up to $119 per user per month if billed monthly. Uh, we find this, this isn't that common. Uh, it really comes down to whether you need these unlimited uh, active deals, custom fields, and reports if you find that these caps here aren't enough for you. Um, in terms of features, I mean, you do get some extra, uh, you know, things like unlimited user permission and visibility settings, um, more advanced and heightened security preferences, and um, better phone support from Pipedrive. But in terms of the functionality of the CRM, I mean, again, you can go through these, um, the feature comparison here, you're basically getting all the main functionality in that professional plan and really the difference with enterprise is just the, the um, some of the limits and caps on what you can do. So those are the different subscription options in Pipedrive. As I mentioned, if you're just getting started, I would probably recommend just getting the advanced to unlock those email functionality capabilities, but you may want to look at professional if you need higher limits on the number of custom fields and reports, or if you want some of those more advanced reporting and, uh, and just CRM functionality options as well. Once you've chosen your base subscription for, this, for the CRM, you can then add on extra features and functionality. Now, with these add-ons, you can add these features on to any of the subscriptions that you have. So you could be on advanced, sorry, essential, advanced, or professional, and add on any of the add-ons that I'm about to show you. So we have the lead booster add-on, which comes with the chatbot, live chat, prospector, web forms, and scheduling capabilities. And the pricing here is it's $32.50 per company per month if billed annually, or 39 per company per month if billed monthly. So we now switch to company pricing. You don't pay per user like you do with your main subscription up here. This is just a one-time, or, or sorry, a monthly fee, but for the entire company. So Lead Booster allows you to kind of create these different uh, website integrations for supporting live chat. The web forms uh, in particular are really useful. We then have the Web Visitors add-on, which is $41 per company per month if billed annually, or $49 if you pay monthly. And this lets you track the pages on your website that your leads or contacts are visiting. So you get some visibility of are they, are they looking at our pricing page or our products page. So that's a pretty useful add-on. We then have the Campaigns add-on. Think of this as the uh, email marketing add-on to Pipedrive. Now this starts at $13.33 per company um, per month if billed annually, or $16 per company per month if billed monthly. Now that is for, uh, you actually pay for the number of subscribers in your account. So that pricing will increase if you have thousands or tens of thousands of subscribers, you will find this price will go up. And so that campaigns add-on will allow you to send email marketing newsletters and create drip or nurture campaigns in Pipedrive. 
And finally, we have the Smart Docs add-on. This is actually the feature that I mentioned up here that comes with the professional plan. So if you're on professional, you don't need to pay for this. It comes as part of your plan. But if you're on essential or advanced and you need the option to send and get a contract signed, you can add the Smart Docs add-on. This starts at $32.50 per company per month. Um, again, it says here, if for the essential and advanced subscriptions, or 39 if you pay uh, monthly. The final add-on that's not actually shown here is the projects add-on. Projects is a new feature that's coming out uh, on Pipedrive right now. Um, it's, I, it looks like they haven't updated their website yet, but that's another add-on is the ability to manage projects in Pipedrive as well. So as I mentioned, those add-ons can be added to either of the Pipedrive subscription levels. And this is what I meant at the start about, I really like the flexibility that you get with Pipedrive's pricing. So for example, if you don't need that email marketing, that campaign's functionality, you don't wanna be overpaying for the CRM if you're not using it, but being able to add it on and pay for the number of subscribers in your account gives you that option if you want that feature. So is Pipedrive worth it? Well, firstly, I'm a little bit biased. I mean, I'm a big fan of Pipedrive. I, I, my business is helping people with Pipedrive. So Feel free to take what I'm saying with a grain of salt, but I think for the pricing that we've I've shown you here, especially if you just wanna start with that basic CRM, 1490 per user per month for a very simple, easy to use CRM that does a lot, I think is a great way to get started. But even on the advanced and professional, uh, I think you get a lot of powerful features that really help you to follow up and be more efficient with your sales. You're getting things like uh, email templates and workflow automation that really help you to speed up your sales process. And I can say with confidence, since using Pipedrive and learning how to use these features to follow up more effectively, I have closed more deals and I, I know I'm, I have become a more effective salesperson by using Pipedrive properly. And so I'm happy to pay the fee uh, for, for the value that it provides me. If your goal is to find the cheapest CRM out there, I wouldn't look at Pipedrive. It's by no means expensive, in my opinion, compared to a lot of other CRMs out there um, that require a lot of custom development, even just to get started. I think Pipedrive is a great, much more affordable option for most small to medium sized businesses, but it's certainly not the cheapest. You know, you will definitely find cheaper alternatives out there in the market, but it depends what you're looking for. Pipedrive has been around for a while. Um, I, I really like the pace of development. They're often coming out with new features and really building on the CRM and making it better all of the time. So I hope this video has helped. If you have any questions about the pricing or anything I've discussed today, feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you wanna make sure you're getting the most out of Pipedrive for the price that you pay, then click on the link in the description below to learn more about my Pipedrive consulting options. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.